Hello, in this video I would like to uh, design a power supply for our ESP32 development port that we, uh, that we started. So I would like to add a USB-C connection and then add a linear voltage regulator to drop down to 3.3 volts that is used uh, for ESP32 supply. So let's begin. And because I would like to use uh, to use JLC PCBs in order uh, to, to make uh, to make this board, I would check uh, I would check uh, what parts are uh, uh, available there. So go to resources assembly parts, and in here we can simply type USB C. Use uh, 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 use USB C uh, conductor, but uh, because I would like uh, to transfer the, let's say only data. We don't need uh, fast data and uh, power. I don't need uh, to use USB-C that is, for example, 3.5. I think USB 2.0 is uh, is even okay. So I should I should find something like that. So let's double check what is inside our KiCad standard library and then see maybe we can we can uh, double check in uh, JLC PCBs. So let's let's uh, place add symbol and le let's just search for USB C. B C or just USB and then in the C USB C section we have so USB C plug USB C molex this could be uh, the one option so let's add that one let's see what is happening there let's add additional let's check what is else inside USB USB C uh, C plug, so that is with on this Molex 105444 uh, footprint. Let's uh, check for USB C for USB 2.0. And here we have uh, 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 multiple options. Let's double check. So this is through hole. This looks very similar to ours. So uh, SMD with couple of uh, couple of uh, holes for for the legs. The same SMD the same. Uh huh. We have this PCB edge. So I think that this one is what I would like to see. So if we have this PCB edge. Or let's do not complicate. Let's check. Let's check what of this we have inside JLC PCBs. So if I just uh, uh, search for this number in JLC, what should I get? So let's simply type. Let's just try to type uh, USB uh, 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 4085. Okay, 4085. USB 4085. Let's select. And then let's see what is inside. So let's type C, but it says it's true hole. Top mount. Let's see in the data sheet. Do we have something different? Yes, exactly. So we found this one. So we can use either this one. And let's see the pricing of it or availability. So availability none, but it's very cheap. So let's maybe let's maybe find something different. Um, let's 
check for this one. So let's simply try to type UTC 16 then C. So I think TC 16. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that maybe we don't have this one. So I checked the last one. So this seems pretty pretty reasonable to have. So let's start typing. Uh, XKB underscore KB. Mm -hmm. A lot of component. So let's check. Mm -hmm. So a lot of stuff. Okay, let's let's continue by adding u to six two, and we have and exactly. So u to six two, we should look for sixteen sixteen n. So let's check exactly this. So pretty standard. Doctor, let's check this series. Completely reasonable, so let's maybe agree to use to use this one. So first let's double check what we have. So do we need to search something for this component uh, like schematic footprint or 3D view? Uh, and we can see that for this we have good schematic and good 3D view. So let's add that one to here. We can remove this old one. And yes, but now let's try to save this and let's see do we have uh, do we have valid uh, 3D view as well. So let's go to KiCad to uh, our PCB editor. Import from schematic. Of course, we need to annotate, update PCB, and close. And we have our we have our USB C. So let's place that USB-C somewhere around here. That should be, let's say, correct placement because we would like to have USB-C and un basically antenna of ESP32 on the other side. And so we can align horizontally and that's it. So let's save this and let's now open the 3D view. So as you can see, we don't have 3D view of uh, of our USB-C uh, connector, so let's let's try to add this. Mm -hmm. Let's check what else we can uh, 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 what else we can use here. So if we go back to our schematic, double click or no, let's just add a new symbol which will be the same one. Yeah, on a different schematic. So. Uh, 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 we are using this one now. Can we, for example, use something different? Let's try this one. Yes, exactly. And let's try now to update our PCB. Annotate first, of course, and then update, close. Okay. Okay, and let's just double check. Sorry. Let's double click on uh, the model and let's check. 3D, so it doesn't exist. Okay, but let's go inside. Let's just take something like this. Then let's try this one. Uh, let's check the first one. So, and this looks very promising. And well, yes, yes, yes. So let's try to download this. So let's load it first. Exactly. So this is something exactly that we need. So now I would like to download this file uh, after simple login password. So you can create this account here. Uh, uh, you will be able to download this. And I already have this. Uh, 
ESP section with the libraries. So I would create here uh, the folder uh, that is called type C or maybe even USB type C. USB type C and I would like to save this step file inside. So after the step file is saved, we can uh, go again into our uh, PCB view, double click on our component and here let's add, let's first uh, delete uh, the first entry and let's just add one entry that should point to that, that step file. Okay, okay, so as you can see it's a bit <laughs> not aligned and now we need to see how we can align it so of course not it should touch the scale so leave scale at one 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 and let's uh, uh, uh let's play around with offset so i think the uh, offset on x axis is now correct let's now move the y one as well and i think that exactly we are ready to go let's align our ESP with our new newly added USB uh, uh, C connection align save of course let's update the schematic with, with the exact same thing just removing the first one save and let's check our 3D view and exactly something like this is what we need. Let me move it a bit so that we can see clearly. So our USB, of course, we will shorten the board a bit, but it's not, not important now. We have our USB and we have our uh, SMD components that we will now start to route uh, to our ESP32. So, good progress, let's continue. 